Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian, if you're new here, I hope that you like what you see and that you'll consider to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Check out some of my other videos. But let's go ahead and hop right into the video. I don't have any leave-in in my hair. I just shampooed and conditioned. And I'm gonna be using the Dead Sea Collection Hair Styling Gel Argan Oil with Dead Sea Minerals. I was walking around Ross and saw this listed for $4.99. So I thought, hey, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. Um, see what happens. It says that it is, it helps to provide a long lasting hold without hair damage. It's infused with argan oil to nourish and sculpt both curls and straight hair. The gel texture helps easy distribution through the hair. Use on wet hair for a sculpted, spiked, sleek, or refined look, or on dry hair for a messy, tousled look. You um, start with towel dried hair that's only slightly damp and dispense a pea sized amount of gel into your palm and rub hands together to distribute evenly. Begin at the roots and work the gel through the damp hair using your fingers or a wide tooth comb. The texture is pretty loose jelly um part got a pretty decent consistency so let's see how this works the smell not really sure like what's going on with the smell um it's light it's got like a slight perfume smell to it nothing super crazy um so I'm just gonna brush through and try to make sure this is nice and detangled before I get started. And it said take a pea sized amount. I don't really know how that's gonna go, but we're gonna find out. Um, I don't, I just can't see myself using a pea sized amount, especially since it didn't say what size um, section to use. So I'm just gonna rub it in my hands you can see it's nice and shiny. And I'm just going to apply it to the hair and we'll see how it goes. Okay, the application is nice, but okay, we're getting a little definition. Definitely gonna need more than that. Add some more, try to get those roots really well, and let's see how it goes. Okay. It kind of sounds like it's foaming. Like as I'm hearing it, as I'm running my hands through, it's giving a little bit of sticky. I don't know. I mean, the definition looks pretty decent. See, I maybe add just a little more at the roots and bring that down. Make sure those ends are nice and coated. Okay, it's not too too bad. I am doing this with no leave-in, just so I can get like a real feel of it since it's got the argan oil to see if it brings any type of like moisture or anything like that but I did make sure I conditioned really well and so my hair was feeling moisturized before I started okay it's not too bad I am gonna sit under the hooded dryer um, cause I'm not gonna sit here and let this air dry because uh, air drying, I'll get more frizz. So I guess to give it its best shot, I do need to do it, go and sit under the dryer and let it kind of freeze in place immediately. So my hair's not shrinking up too bad, so that's a plus. So this is what my hair is looking like with the gel applied all the way throughout. 
Um, it really only took me like maybe 15 minutes, so not very long. Um, it goes on easy. Um, I was able to, you know, rake my fingers through just fine. It's given really good definition and shine so far. Um, what I'm anticipating is this, by the time this dries, it's going to be one of those like kind of already a little bit of voluminous because I, I mean, I got to my roots, but I just don't feel like my roots are as like sleek, if you will, um, which is fine. Um, I could fix that if I wanted to, but I was just trying to do this real quick and easy, not trying to do a whole lot of extra, but I don't know what the back looks like. But hopefully it looks pretty good. It feels like it looks okay. So I'm gonna go sit under the dryer and let's see how much shrinkage I get right now. My hair is literally sitting like right at my shoulders. So let's see how much shrinkage, if any, I get. My hair did shrink up a little bit, uh, but nothing, some banding or a little blow dry action won't fix. Um, it's got a cast on it, y'all. It's got a cast. It's a good cast, too. Like, I didn't expect it to be this strong of a cast, but I'm very, very excited. Um, my roots are still a little damp. I only sat under, put it dry for about 30 minutes, but for the most part, it is dry. So I'm just gonna, like, chill out because I was starting to get really hot under there. So I'm just gonna, like, chill, let those roots air dry, and maybe tomorrow... I will stretch it out depending on what it's looking and feeling like by the time I go to bed because it's still early it's like it's only 117 so maybe by the time I get ready to go to bed I might put it in a few sections to kind of let it start to softly break the cast and stretch but maybe um, tomorrow or the next day um, I might actually like blow it out and like really shape it and fluff it but i think it's gonna i think it's gonna look good so i'm excited so let's see so these are my final results so i did my hair on sunday sunday night i just slept slept on a satin pillowcase and then last night monday night i went ahead and put it in like two low ponies down here just to give it a little bit of stretch so i wouldn't have to work so hard this morning with the blow dryer but i think it came out really good it's got tons of definition it's super shiny um it's got good volume it's still got a cast this is what the back looks like it's a little frizzy in here but that is okay but i am very happy with it i mean it's a five dollar gel let me show it to you again it's a five dollar gel that I picked up at Ross, and it is the Dead Sea Collection Hairstyling Gel Argan Oil. So I'm interested to know if they have like different types. Like you know, Eco Styler has like olive oil, Moroccan oil, things like that. So that is interesting. But I didn't really have like too high of hope because it's something you know, like a brand I had never heard of. But I figured for five dollars what was really the harm in trying it and i'm glad i did oh my goodness like this is really good like this is giving me like wet line vibes and i didn't use um a leave-in conditioner under it but my hair doesn't feel like dry it's not necessarily the most moist moisturized but it's far from being dry so i would keep that in mind so if like your hair is like very fine and you're worried about cocktailing products, I do think it could be used on its own. Now, I don't know what my hair is going to feel like come like Friday or Saturday, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. This is like a quick little, like I don't have time to do my hair, but I still need it to look really, really, really good. I can get away with this. And I did this on towel dried hair, not wet, not damp, towel dried hair. So... I mean, I'm gonna give it like a five out of five, I guess. Like, unless I start like seeing flakes all over the place, I don't, let me see. 
I don't see any flakes coming. So that's good. Um, sometimes even when you do use gels on their own, if you use too much, it will cause it to flake. But I was a little bit heavy handed because the, the direction said to use a pea size amount, but it didn't say what size section to use. So I put it on like I would any other gel and I had no problem. A little actually went a long way. Like, I don't know if you remember what it looked like when I opened it, but it's, I'm gonna get a ton of uses. Like it's still all the way up here. And I think it was actually at this curved part um, when I started. So this is gonna last me for forever in the day. Like I could probably do my hair a good six months off of this if I do my hair like once a week. So I would recommend it if you see it in your local Ross and then you could probably check like TJ Maxx and Marshall. Sometimes they mix and match um, and we'll have the same things. So if you see this, I would go ahead and give it a try. If you're like me, you like a strong hole, you like lots of definition, but you wanna be able to stretch it and still have kind of that cast to hold it. This is a really good cheap option. It's $5 for 35.2 ounces. That's really good. So yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. It's gonna be a good one. I'm trying out not new products, but re-release products by a really big YouTuber, you guys. Um, I'm really, really excited because I used her products a few years back and due to the pandemic and things like that, you know, Things got halted, but she's back and she's better. And I'm so excited to try that. So subscribe so you can be notified when I post that video. And I'll see you guys then. Bye.